Avatar Korra versus Avatar Aang. Who would win in a fight? Find out today. And I am joined by... Ronnie! And Josh. Okay, so we figured Josh could start off giving his reason why Avatar Aang would beat Avatar Korra. Now, in my opinion, I'm going to have to say Aang will win this battle because, you know, I know Aang haven't learned the elements for a long time, but he's been alive for many years. And I feel like he knows a lot of air bending. And it's been a while since he learned, you know, all the elements. So I feel like he's going to win this battle. And plus, he knows how to use um lightning. So that's why I'm going to have to say Aang was going to win the battle. Okay, I actually want to intervene quickly before Ronnie goes. <laughs> Aang only knows how to do- redirect lightning. Korra yeah. can't bend lightning, so that kind of irrelevant. Mm-hmm. Already, anyway, yeah. Also, I want to also point out that Aang doesn't have more fear. Aang was frozen in the iceberg when he was 12 years old. So, Aang had 12 years and like 6 months of experience with bending air and all four of the other three elements. Yeah, it wasn't yeah. that many years. As many as you think. Yeah, they we're talking about both characters at the finality of their respected theory. When we say Aang, we're not talking about Aang in Legend of Korra. That's true. That one year old Aang. Yeah, that would be unfair. I mean, we don't have that information to go on. That is true. I agree what you said. But yes, Aang, but even, I feel like, you know, Korra learned how to do this until she was 12. Aang knows how to use more of his po- more of his powers more than you know her because she was u- Aang used a power and he could combine his powers mixed together. He could use fire, air, and air. Korra and, did and that against that the hair. Korra knew yes, all that was true. Them. He did that to protect himself. Like he can use his powers in different ways, you know. No, but Korra did that. Korra did like combined all the elements in her fight with the hair. Mm-hmm. But I feel like Aang will be a little bit more stronger because he can do a lot with it. He's, you know, creative. He could do all that stuff. I don't see the thing, though, but Korra did the exact same thing he did. I and that, also, that, 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 also, that also wasn't Aang. Because the first person to ever use that technique was Avatar Wan. He just that, took yeah. Wan's idea. Mm-hmm. Yeah, when you heard me Avatar thing, yeah, you have the knowledge it. and the skill of every single Avatar. So now that we got that information and we knew that Juan did that technique, we know that that wasn't really Aang. So that means theoretically Korra could do it as well. Any Avatar. Well, actually, no. Korra is actually, does have one major disadvantage in this fight. She did not have the previous knowledge of the previous Avatar. She, her connection to her pre- past lives was destroyed during her fight with Unalak. That is true, and Aang more, has more, a little bit more connections through the other avatars, and plus, he can talk to them and all that stuff. Yes, she well, can no, do this, too. Well, no, he can talk to them yeah. in the fight. Like, what is they going? They're going to stand, yeah. well, like, get cro- well, like, sit there crisscross style like a little girl, and it's like, Avatar Roku, I need to talk to you. Mm-hmm. Korra's going to be like, oh, he's just sitting there. Let me burn his head off. <laughs> yes, I totally agree. She's young. She doesn't even know, like, who is this person. You do and feel, do you, you, okay, you don't think they're getting the stat that Korra's older than A. Yes. Mentally. Mentally, Korra. Yes, men- yes, that is true, mentally, yes. No, because Aang is physically and mentally a 12-year-old boy. Mm-hmm. But he's only, he technically 112 because he was in an iceberg, but he didn't develop at all. So he couldn't go to he's very young. He doesn't no, no, so, he, so Aang is 12. He's not 112, he's 12. In every yeah. aspect besides, techno, besides technically, he's 12. Yeah, this is a fight, so, not, not, not a nine, physical fight. So. Four is like, what, 17? 18? Yeah, around 18. that. No, but yeah, because Korra, yeah, Korra left around. Yeah, Korra was 17 in the beginning of the series, so she's probably in her 20s now. Yeah, no, because eight. it's a three-year, I think a three-year time kit, so yeah, it's like 20, 21 years old. And, and you also see it there that Korra is a pro-bender, meaning Korra trades in fighting. Yeah, she actually has a fighting style. Like, Korra is like, Korra knows how to fight. Can you really just say that Aang, like, knows how to fight? 
Yes, that is true. Aang is most he's known for using his elements. I don't see Aang fighting. I see Aang fighting, but yes, I see not Aang. Aang. No, Aang is also very defensive. Like Korra going to is there any who we all know who who's gonna make the first move in this fight is gonna be Korra. Korra yes. is going to kill him. Aang is gonna be like, "Come on, let's talk about this. I don't want to hurt you." And yeah, because Aang is a little bit more, you know, nicer. Yes, I agree with you, because I feel like Aang is a little bit more nicer than Korra. Korra no, has no, that, you know, but Aang not, no, I think they're both equally compassionate. I think the fact is that Korra is more of a brawler. Like, Korra enjoys the thrill of the fight. Aang is an arrow. He's a yeah, pacifist. He only wants to cause people pain. Korra's like, you're the enemy. I'll beat you. I mean, you could use the influence in the story, for example. And Korra also has mastered more techniques than him. She, she has, she is a more, she has accomplished more and mastered more. She, she does, she's a metal bender, remember, you gotta remember, she's a metal member, metal bender. She can also spirit bend. I mean, I'm just pointing these things out. But Aang is not spirit. True, I want to point out that she had mastered, that she was capable of mastering two things he never did. He knew Top Bay Fong, and he never mastered metal bending. Yeah, Top should have taught metal bending. I, mean, Mel- I would like to assume she did. She tried to, and Aang just couldn't do it. Yeah, Aang is like, Aang already had trouble when he first learned earth bending, so I, had metal bending would be probably be extremely hard for him. Because Mel- it's just opposite of his personality, and also speaking of personalities, like One Piece said, Korra has more of a will to be violent than fight. And we used a few instances in Avatar Last Airbender, for example. Every time Zuko would attack, like... And Aang runs away. Yeah. Hey, think yeah. about this. Why you would do this? Yeah. He would defend himself, but he, the goal is to get away, not to kill him. Korra's and, goal would have been kick his ass. Korra would be like... I'm, he, Korra would not stop until that entire ship was destroyed. Ain't nobody playing. Korra is not playing. Aang... But bro. also, you all, I also do want to give Korra credit. Koro has already mastered three elements. Avatar D12. To the point where she can use them in combat, most likely. You know what I mean? And I know what co- some of the comments are tempted to say. There was a, a, a episode in um in the Earthbending book, um where um is um Azula was chasing them. Azula, even though Azula was chasing them. Aang, um, Aang made like a trail of Appa's hair to lead Azula away from his friends to so Abba and. Katara and Tav, and everybody could escape. And then Azula ran through the trail and found Aang. And Aang was all was all tired and exhausted. And he and, and then Azula's like, "You can run, but you can't hide." And Aang was like, "I'm not running." But see, here's the thing: Aang had enough. He was exhausted. He was pushed to the max. It was annoying. He was exhausted. He all didn't know his friends was- were in danger. Aang does fight when he had to, but it isn't something where he. But then, you know, it just takes him a while to get tough. Yeah, it's like Korra right off the bat is going to be going for the kill. I mean, yeah, I know his what you mean. friends were in danger too. Everybody was in danger and they were exhausted. It was a really urgent a, a time, so he really had to say, I'm not running also, away. I would like to point out that Korra also had the advantage that she carried water around with her. That is true. And she's really good with water. And yes, that's her main see, I want to point out, Ang is a thousand times better at air than Korra is. The Korra is a thousand mm-hmm. times better than water. Because if you pay really close attention, the Avatar always relies on their original And element. it's pretty much like air versus all, like, even though they know all the elements, like, it's pretty, but their main element for Aang is air, the main element for Korra no, is actually water. Yeah, Korra, the, uh, yeah. Korra, unlike Aang, had mastered all the elements to a degree where yeah. he can really use eat any of them almost perfectly in a fight. Yeah. I mean, yes, I, she was a waterbender in her fight in the pro band thing, but that was probably a coincidence. Then, you know, they wanted to have the firebend. They wanted her to be the waterbender at the team, then have the firebender and the earthbender. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you mean. Then, you know, they want to have, like, a bender for each element. And that's not me with Banan Bender, like how they had Ta, Katara, Aang, and uh, Asami. Yeah. But, I mean... I, it's like, did you still think Aang would, uh, Aang would win? Well, now you guys went all out, and I can see that. Well, I kind of see Aang, you know, all right, 
I don't see Ag winning, you know, winning, but I could see him, you know, putting up at least a good fight, you know, a good yeah, fight. Yeah, I also, I also personally believe that Cora had a, Cora is very, I, I don't want to come across like I'm hating on Cora, but I, I am, I do hate this about her a little bit, this pisses me off, but she is not afraid to use the Avatar state at all. Yeah, she's not afraid to do nothing. No, and he doesn't use that unless he has to. Cora, she used it to beat Ang's granddaughter in a race. Mm -hmm. See, here's the thing. Where you, um, the, um, both are, um, like, the argument of, you know, Ang not only fighting when he needs to and only using the Avatar state in the dangerous situation. See, if Cora kicks the shit out of Aang, Aang will be pushed at max, like the whole Zuo thing. And he might go Avatar state if Cora does him too hard. Well, no, but the real question here, one, we're going to point out, we know this could honestly never happen. Like, we know, we know Rava could only be in one body at once. We're, 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 we're just, it's just hypothetical here. So, like, well, yeah, but, like, I mean, they could, they, they'll never encounter each other in a way they're able to fight, but, like, so this whole thing is hypothetical, so you can't yeah. even discuss I'm going to make sure we were clear, but people would be like, well, then in Cork. So, in this situation, we're just saying they can both be in the Avatar State at the same time. But, wait, wait, of course, the Golden Avatar says since she lost the connection? I, I yeah, don't know. Yeah, Rava refused with Korra. Korra is now the second generation of Avatars, pretty much. That's yeah. so cool. I, that, I mean, Korra I, I is the first Avatar of the second generation of Avatars, pretty I think much. They're going to make a third series, but I wish they did, so we could see, like, the second generation of Avatars. Mm-hmm. That would be pretty cool. But, yeah, I mean, I personally think Korra will win. Mostly, mainly my biggest reason. Yes, I feel like you guys went all out, and I agree, but I'm going to at least say that Aang will put up at least a good fight. No, a really put good up fight. a damn good fight. I feel like in the end, it will come down to Korra. Will, right, will, the second he started having a hard time, he'd probably be like, you know what? Avatar thing. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you mean. But like, the second he got angry, and Aang going to be like, wait, what? Wait, what the hell? Oh, shit. But I also want to point out that Aang does have one major advantage. She has all the knowledge of his past lives now. Korra does not have that anymore. That's true. Korra just had the massive power for that Rava gives her. So she just has a shit ton of power and skill. But it's up to her to fight. But um, another thing that I take into account, and which this argument proves, is that Aang, we all we can conclude that Aang is a more spirited person, more like focus on more of his spiritual ways, while Korra would have, would focus more more physically. Yes. Mm -hmm. Both 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 shows would imply that. Yes, I think the authors even stated the whole purpose of Korra. That Korra, one of the reasons Korra is actually a girl is because they wanted one hundred percent opposite of Aang in every single aspect, opposite uh. gender. Opposite mindset, opposite personality, opposite skills. But see, if they really wanted to do opposites, they'll have to make her naturally earthbender. That would be the that would make her the true opposite. Well, no, but yeah, but they couldn't do that because the cycle is, is air or water. Oh yeah, true, true, true. They couldn't. It would make sense. But yeah. Yeah, it would. It, yeah, that one of the whole that one of the whole reason Kenzin, it was so important for Aang to populate the air nature. I do want to point this out though. So, that Korra would probably be, if Aang wanted to be Avatar State, I feel like Korra would have trouble. Mm -hmm. Just because I feel like her, his knowledge would be so bad. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you mean. But I feel like, like, when if Aang go to Avatar State, I feel like his Avatar State is a little bit more strong because he has a lot of knowledge. This guy knows, like, all the Avatars, you know, that. You know, Korra knows all the Avatars, too. She just can't yeah. go in. She doesn't have access to their memories or knowledge anymore. Well, Aang does. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Aang so, does. Like, like, yeah. Like, so Aang could do what Watt, what Avatar Watt did, and like Ben, like the, what the thing he did against Oda, he can still do that. Korra can still do that too, but he saw Avatar Watt doing it, but still. Mhm. Mm but like, honestly, she already knows how to do it because she saw Watt do it, so she could do it, but still, she couldn't learn anything else. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I mean, I personally think a uh, Korra would win. This is also before we end this video. I just want to make it clear: this is not about who is a better avatar. That is a whole other video. Yeah. Yeah. We're just saying who would win in a fight.
But we're going in another. If you guys enjoyed this, tell us and maybe we can do another video. And yeah. that who was, you know, with another avatar. Even though the answer are kind of obvious. But yeah. Ho yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed. And check out uh, Josh and Ronnie's channels. Links so will be in the description. Do you guys have any final words? Um, um, yeah. Okay. Well, have a great day.